Dr. Snindu Mukherjee, uh, eminent surgeon from our city of Kolkata. I'd li like to ask you, Dr. Mukherjee, about what is the appropriate time to get an AV fistula done in a patient with chronic kidney disease and what difficulties or the uh, problems we can face in the process? Right. This is a, thank you very much. This is a very relevant question. But there are guidelines, uh, the KDOKI guidelines is that when you estimate that this patient can, and a patient with CKD can get on to dialysis about six months later. So six months before the estimated time of the patients getting, getting on dialysis, that is the time to do an AV fistula or the primary vascular access. This may vary a little bit, but the rule of thumb is in a patient with CKD, as soon as you're thinking that this patient is likely to come on dialysis, please get your AV fistula done as soon as possible because it will take about two months to mature and you may run into problems. You may have you need time to do a secondary access. Problems that we face is poor veins and often these veins have been used for intravenous infusions. My only humble request to everyone is if you see a patient with a raised creatinine, even in the acute setting, please preserve the cephalic vein of the non-dominant forearm. Please don't use it to start an intravenous drift. And about the, about the problems, one more important message is that access, fistulas very often fail. We need to develop a regular access surveillance program so that we can interfere before an access fails rather than waiting for it to fail and then the patient coming to us. Uh, just continuing with the question of AV fistula, uh, do you sp face specific problems in the diabetic subset of patients compared to those who are non-diabetic? Yes, we do. In fact, uh, there is a good amount of evidence that starting from difficulty in creating an access to the access complications, almost everything is increased in diabetes. Mm. In the creation of an AV fistula, either a primary AV fistula or any higher forms based on the brachial artery or the... In diabetics, we very often come across poor arteries, atherosclerotic arteries. And the main problem is technical, anastomotic difficulty in the arteries. And because of poor flow, because they may be proximal plaques, uh, these accesses tend to fail more often than in non-diabetics. So this, this is the main problem we face. Thank you.